Hello, it's Kana. Welcome back to my closet. And I'm very excited because this is an update. I think it's update number two for my Project Pan Roulette collab that we are doing together with a whole bunch of ladies here on YouTube. So this is a project started by Alexi and Rebecca, and I will link their channels below, of course. And I will link the playlist as well because there are a lot of other people doing this too. So it's been a lot of fun. I've really just been using this um, project to just, you know, just to have some fun with some things and setting some different, weirder, not so strict goals with myself just to kind of play with things and see where I'm at with them. And it's been really cool. And I also just really enjoy the people that are in this collab. So that being said, let me just go ahead and tell you about the things I'm using. Okay, so let's start where we start. I have this Becca Undry Brightening Corrector and this guy, I'm supposed to be hitting the bottom of the jar on this is the goal I've set for it. And when that happens, we'll see if I keep it in or swap it out for something else. But um, this is really easy to use because I absolutely love this and I use this even when I don't wear makeup sometimes. So I love this product and I'll show you where I am with that. It's a pretty good size dip in there. Should be any day now. I really don't know, but um, yeah, I'm getting use out of it. I'm enjoying it. So there's that. Let's see what else we've got. Ah, let's let's talk about this. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's the original. Um, I'm just really hoping this is almost empty because it was a product you don't like. I forgot to mention um, this is a product that you uh, that you would always repurchase. Was the category for this? So for a category for the category uh, product, I would always repurchase. That was the under eye brightening corrector from Becca. Now, I rolled a product you don't like and I got the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in the original formula and I really didn't like this at all. And it was in my declutter basket and I pulled it out um, just for this category because it just happened to have not been decluttered yet. And as I've been using this, I've realized that I do not despise it. Um, it's still not my favorite though. I really want to get back to my MAC um, Painterly paint pot. That's my favorite. It is what it is. I will keep using it though um, because I feel like I'm so close and I like it. It's fine. I just don't prefer it. So it went from being despised to just being not quite my favorite. And um, yeah, I can't wait to be done with this. So hopefully that will be soon. And then what I rolled was, I'm not even, these aren't in order but I rolled a product that I would recommend to anyone. And for that, I chose my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. And this is still going, but I feel like it's almost done too. So we'll see, still going though. So, so far, no empties, no goals met as of yet. But um, I do enjoy this. I'm wearing it today, I wear this all the time. I absolutely love this stuff, so that's not a problem. So I'll keep working on it. Okay, and let's see. Next I had, what was this? I think I rolled a, a matte product and then I got this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And, you know, I'll show you. I'm supposed to be hitting pan on this. Um, I guess there is a dip in there. Which is weird but um, let me see if I can see any side stuff happening I don't know it's gonna be really difficult to, um, to hit pan on this the way I use it I do feel a dip in here but um, anyways it's just I use this with a huge brush so oh, it smells so good so I'm enjoying it it's fine it works it's great I'm not mad at it, uh, but 
I feel like if I hit pan on this, I might as well just finish it because it's going to be big pan. So yeah, whatever. Okay, next I have a product that I've used up before. I think, um, yes, that was the category. And for that, it was the Bite Beauty Honeycomb, a, a mousse-bouche lipstick in honeycomb. So I will show you what that looks like. It looks like this. It's pretty. I'm wearing it today um, with a little bit of uh, fuel from Urban Decay, just mixed. Anyway, let me just show you the difference between this and the like a newer one. I'm trying to find the one I definitely have not used yet, and it is rhubarb. I think I've worn this once or swatched it or something, but it's just a very good indication of how much I have used. So I'll try to hold those up together for you. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm working on it. You know, I had like a halfway mark on here, right about um, there. So it's almost halfway done, sort of. But yeah, I'll keep working on that. Okay, so this last product, I rolled uh, a product from Wet n Wild. And I don't have a lot of those. So I chose this Wet n Wild mascara. It's the um, colored mascara in pale pink. So yeah, that was that. And I will tell you, that you can probably see that that is not empty, but I don't know if it smells weird. I can't really smell anything, but I will tell you that I have had this for a while. And the last time I wore this a couple days ago, it did really make my eyes burn. So I'm going to call this done. <laughs> I think that's a fair statement there. So yeah, I'm going to call it done. One item down. And then I get to re-roll. Well, I get to roll for a new item, which is really exciting because that's kind of my favorite part. <laughs> so let me do that. Okay. So my phone is dead, so I had to plug it in. going to generate a new number to replace the Wet n Wild mascara. So let's see if we can do this together. Did it work? I don't think it did. No. What'd we get? 44. Let's hope that's not something I've already done. Okay, 44. Way down here. Oh, that's interesting. 44 is a hair care item. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to take a minute because those are downstairs. I don't believe I have any of that stuff up here. So let me go get a hair care item that I want to pan. Okay, so number 44, a hair care product. It's the Eva NYC Hungry Hair Oil Treatment. And I always love a hair oil. So I just finished one. So now I'm going to replace it with this. It's full. It's going to take a while to get through this, especially now that I'm missing a lot more hair, <laughs> but um, that should be fun. At least it's different. So yeah, that is everything. And like I say, if this was the item, so if you voted for the Wet n Wild Pink Mascara, then you won. <laughs> you won the prize of self-satisfaction. Yay. <laughs> Anyway, I will go ahead and put another poll up in the cards if you guys want to guess which item I will reach goal on first. So I will just go over that now. This one, like I said, just want to hit the bottom of the jar. So that'll be my goal for that. This I want to get half done. Finish this all up. Want to hit pan in this. Want to finish this. And yeah, this I want to finish, but um, <laughs> there's a lot in here. 
So probably because there's only five spots and there's six items, I will leave this out because there's no way that'll be done by next time. So out of the five other items, you go ahead and vote and tell me which one that you think I will finish first because I don't know, it's just kind of fun to see what everybody thinks and to see who, you know, if I can guess or if you can guess. So I'll leave that poll in there just for fun. So I will see you guys next time and yeah, have a good one. Bye.